Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Raina Mo's Designs. And this is the fourth installment of our series for entertaining purposes. And this is all about signature drinks. And I thought, what better setting and backdrop could I use than the bar inside the house? Although it's kind of a misnomer for the plain and simple fact that we don't drink. We have all this liquor here and we're not, <laughs> we're not drinkers. But whenever anyone comes over and they are drinkers, we like to um, be able to offer them something that they could enjoy, liquid refreshment or libation. So um, we're gonna go downstairs shortly and I'm gonna actually be in the kitchen and just show you the two signature drinks that I actually created for my wedding. And I'll show you the alcohol, obviously, that was used in those signature drinks. But I also wanted to, because I mean, it's practically the elephant in the room, um, tell you, your girl really has a shopping problem. Y'all need to start giving me suggestions in the, in the comment box uh, down below on how to go into a store and come out with only what you went into the store for. And that's a prime example. I thought the bottle was unique and would look good here on the bar, so I purchased it. We don't even drink. Um, same thing here with this tequila. I thought the bottle was beautiful, and it is beautiful. Here, let me show you. It is beautiful. If you can really see in there, it's a hand-blown glass, and there's a rose at the bottom of the glass that was blown into it. Absolutely gorgeous. But I have yet to uh, open that, that bottle, and I don't know that I ever will, but, but it's pretty. <laughs> so on that note, let's go downstairs and actually get to what you came for, which was designing signature drinks. First off for signature drinks, when I'm thinking of an event, typically there's a champagne toast, just like at my wedding. And since I was marrying someone who was Italian, I figured champagne or Prosecco. Both of them are bubbly drinks, but it would be more appropriate since he was Italian to serve Prosecco. So that's what we serve. So with the help of two very economical stores, Dollar Tree and Trader Joe's, we were able to create beautiful champagne toasts. You get two of these beautiful cut glass appearing champagne flutes in a pack at Dollar Tree. You can also order it online at Dollar Tree and I'll put the links down below. And then for wine, for the event, I was thinking what's the most economical place that we could actually go? You, we have Specs here in Houston, Texas, but we also have Trader Joe's that has a very large wine and spirits section. So they happen to have this Prosecco that was strawberry and raspberry infused and it was absolutely delicious as well as beautiful. Can you imagine having a champagne blush and gold wedding with a beautiful blush colored drink? That was our signature drink for the champagne toast. Next, we'll move on to the two different drinks that I actually created my own recipe for. So for the signature drinks that I created, the first one that I'm gonna discuss is the one that has my namesake on it. And it is geared towards um, the nickname that my Boo Bear has given me, which is Nikki Boo. Now, my absolute favorite drink, whenever I do have a, a liquid libation, is Long Island tea. Now I know you're probably thinking, girl, if you don't drink at all, how can you handle a Long Island tea? Easy, I never finish it. I sip on it, I nurse it <laughs> to the best of my ability. But I just really enjoy the flavor of that particular drink when it's created well, when it actually tastes like tea. So I came up with Nikki Boo tea. And to create that, I used a Chardonnay and a tea. I use 
what it, you can use whatever tea it is that you enjoy brewing for yourself and drinking as long as you can stretch it out to a size that can fit your event and it tastes absolutely wonderful you make the tea like you normally would with as much sugar or as less sugar as you would normally use and you can also add different flavorings in it because you can float strawberries in it you can squeeze a little bit of grapefruit or orange in it um, just to change the flavor a little bit you can make it a peach tea by bl by blending up some peaches in a puree and adding a little bit of that to your tea as well but the main thing is choosing the wine that you want to spike that tea with and I went with a Chardonnay and it was the most economical Chardonnay that Trader Joe's carry it's their Charles Shaw Chardonnay and it's a wonderful tasting Chardonnay just to drink on its own and with that Nikki Boo tea you can serve it in a water goblet or in a wine glass. Now this happens to be a red wine glass, which is very large and holds 20 ounces. You may not wanna give your guests 20 ounces of an alcoholic beverage, but by it being tea, you add ice to the glass and you take care of some of that alcohol consumption. But this was a delicious drink. It was everybody's favorite because there was none of this one left. It finished first before the next one, which we'll be going into next. The next design drink that I came up with for a recipe is called Polly Bear Punch. Now I know you may be thinking, this looks like lemonade powder, which it is, but you're gonna be making a punch. Yes, I am. When you think about punches, there's almost always a citrus note through it. So to me, it just made sense to use my base as a lemonade base. Then from this lemonade base, I added a Pinot Grigio. And this was also picked up at Trader Joe's. You can use whatever Pinot Grigio it is that you would like to use. Now, this is not the Trader Joe brand of Pinot Grigio. It's a different one that was actually imported from Italy, but it was a great sale price, so we went ahead and we picked it up. My all-time favorite Pinot Grigio is Santa Margarita. That's a very pricey bottle of wine. If you would love to serve a $30 bottle of wine, sometimes you can catch it on sale uh, for like $20, then absolutely you can do that. Um, but I wasn't going to spend a couple of hundred dollars just for one signature drink. So I chose this one and it is a very delicious Pinot Grigio. I also added to that mixture some different flavorings, concentrates, and I picked these up at Ikea. They have their rhubarb concentrate. There's no alcohol in these. They also have their ligandberry concentrate and they have a blueberry concentrate now for the poly bear punch when i think of punch i think of red or crimson color and that's where these concentrates come into play it gives you a punch flavor and it also gives you the color to dress up a simple lemonade when you add a very nice wine to the mix it was very delicious. It was heavenly as one of the uh, guests actually <laughs> that really enjoyed that particular uh, signature drink. She said it was absolutely heavenly. So I take it that it was really good. I just happen to know my, my signature drink uh, of the Nikki Boo tea finished first. So I don't know if it's because she was a northerner and bulk of everybody at the wedding was southerners, but um, either way, we had a wonderful time and everyone enjoyed these particular drinks. And no one got intoxicated, which for me was the main thing that was important. Making sure that I could give those that wanted liquid refreshment that had some libation in it, I could give them that, but yet know that they were not gonna be left 
intoxicated, even just a little bit as the kids say buzzed. No one was, was buzzed. They had just enough with all of the heavy food that was served. Uh, we didn't have any of those types of issues, which I'm very, very happy about. And it was served in just your normal wine glass. And that was pretty much it. Very, very simple. All of them delicious. All of them very economical. But no one would know that of how economical it was or budget friendly it was. So I hope you guys enjoyed this particular short explanation tutorial on how to create signature drinks and me sharing the recipes of the signature drinks that I actually um, prepared for my wedding, my event. Just keep in mind when you think of whatever refreshment it is that you want to serve, you just want to think outside of the box a little bit to jazz it up and not necessarily use a trusted old recipe, but make something new that suits your event. So on that note, I hope you guys really enjoyed this and gathered information from it. Definitely share this video with anyone that you think would enjoy it. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I mean, what are you waiting for? <laughs> this channel is an all around channel. <laughs> but most importantly, have an absolutely wonderful evening. Bye.